Good morning and welcome on this Thursday, the 6th of August, to morning prayer. And today is the Feast of the Transfiguration. So although morning prayer is not that different, there are one or two little tweaks that uh, we put in for that, the feast day of the Transfiguration. And the Psalms today are number 27 and number 150. The readings are Ecclesiasticus 48, 1 to 10. Now, lots of you might not have a Bible with that in because it's in the Apocrypha, and that's the bit that sits between the Old Testament and the New Testament in some Bibles. But it's nice occasionally to read from that because we don't often do that. So that's the first one. And the second reading is 1 John 3, verses 1 to 3. So there we are. So we just hold a moment of quiet as we bring ourselves into God's presence, as we prepare to worship in morning prayer. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. God, be gracious to us and bless us, and make his face to shine upon us, that your way may be known upon earth, your saving power among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. O let the nations rejoice and be glad, for you will judge the peoples righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. Then shall the earth bring forth her increase, and God, our own God, will bless us. God will bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us, let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And so to our first psalm, psalm number, number 27. Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom then shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host encamped against me, my heart shall not be afraid. And though there rise up war against me, yet will I put my trust in him. One thing have I asked of the Lord, and that alone I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the fair beauty of the Lord, and to seek his will in his temple. For in the day of trouble he shall hide me in his shelter, in the secret place of his dwelling shall he hide me, and set me high upon a rock. And now shall he lift up my head, above my enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his dwelling an oblation with great gladness. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice, O Lord, when I call. Have mercy upon me and answer me. My heart tells of your word. Seek my face. Your face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not your face from me, nor cast your servant away in displeasure. You have been my helper. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. Though my father and my mother forsake me, the Lord will take me up. Teach me your way, O Lord. Lead me on a level path, because of those who lie in wait for me. Deliver me not into the will of your my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen up against me, and those who breathe out violence. I believe that I shall see the goodness of the Lord 
in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong, and he shall comfort your heart. Wait patiently for the Lord. And Psalm number 150, 150. Alleluia. O oh, praise God in his holiness. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the blasts of the trumpet. Praise him upon the harp and the lyre. Praise him with timbrel and dances. Praise him upon the strings of pipe. Praise him with ringing cymbals. Praise him upon the clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. And so to our first reading, a reading from the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 48, verses 1 to 8. In some copies of the Apocrypha, which is I have its own special one, because it's not included in my uh, Anglican version of the Bible. The Apocrypha is generally in the middle there. Sometimes this book's called Sirach. So this is chapter 48. Then the prophet Elijah rose like a fire, and his word burned like a torch. He brought a famine upon them, and by his zeal he made them few in number. By the word of the Lord he shut up the heavens, and also three times brought, out, brought down fire. How glorious you were, O Elijah, in your wondrous deeds! And who has the right to boast which you have? You who raised a corpse from death and from Hades by the word of the Most High, who brought kings down to destruction and famous men from their beds, who heard rebuke at Sinai and judgments of vengeance at Horeb, who anointed kings to inflict retribution and prophets to succeed you, you who have taken up by a whirlwind of fire in a chariot with horses of fire, you only, you who are ready at the appointed time, it is written to calm the wrath of God before it breaks out in fury, to turn the heart of the Father to the Son and to restore the tribes of Jacob. And so our canticle for today. I have given you as a light to the nations and I've called you in righteousness. Thus says God, who created the heavens, who fashioned the earth and all that dwells in it, who gives breath to the people upon it and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord and I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the captives from the dungeon, from the prison those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name. My glory I give to no other. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. I have given you as a light to the nations, and I have called you in righteousness. And so to our second reading. One John chapter three, verses one to three. See what the love, see, start again. See what love the Father has given us that we should be called children of God, and so we are. The reason why the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. It does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And everyone who thus hopes in him 
purifies himself as he is pure. Here is the second lesson. <coughs> Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I'll be with you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned. I have called you by name, you are mine. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. And the Gospel refrain is different for this day so the refrain is christ who is the very image of the father was revealed in glory upon the holy mountain blessed be the lord the god of israel who has come to his people and set them free he's raised up for us a mighty savior born of the house of his servant david through his holy prophets god promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Christ who is the very image of the Father, was revealed in glory upon the holy mountain. And so for our intercessions. On this day, we celebrate the feast of the transfiguration of our Lord, that appearing on the mountain, the radiance, for that glimpse of heaven, We pray that one day we may see God in all his glory. When we are called into his presence. So we pray for this wayward and broken world, a world of war, violence and greed. For the many places where there is ongoing conflict, for the Yemen, the northern Iraq and Syria, for the many people who are now driven into refugee camps, for those who have fled conflict or drought, for those seeking a new home in a new land. We give thanks for those members of the humanitarian organizations, those bringing help and care and medicines, particularly to the refugee camps. We pray that they may be spared the onslaught of COVID. We pray for all those places where there are droughts and those struggling to get clean water. We pray for our doctors and nurses and frontline workers, for those trying to find a vaccination for the COVID-19 pandemic. We pray for this town of Greater Manchester for the increased restrictions placed upon people that they may we may experience a downturn in, in 
infection rates. We pray for our diocese, for David and Mark, our bishops, David, our archdeacon, Nick, our Aradeen, for our church, for St. Mark's Hayside, for all its people, and for the members of the PCC and our wardens, giving thanks for all that they do. We pray for each other, for our safety, and for those that are alone, maybe reach out to them on the phone to comfort and share time with them. We pray for the sick, for those that we know, that we hold before God for healing. Lord, surround and uplift all who suffer that they may know your healing power. And we pray for the faithful departed, for those who have died recently, a friend of mine called Val Entwistle. We pray for the repose of her soul and for those known to each of us and for those whose years mind fall at this time. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. And in a moment of quiet, we bring before God things that we lie heavy on our own hearts for which we wish to pray. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And the collect for this, the Feast of the Transfiguration of our Lord. Father in heaven, whose Son, Jesus Christ, was once wonderfully transfigured before chosen witnesses upon the holy mountain and spoke of the exodus he would accomplish at Jerusalem. Give us strength so to hear his voice and bear our cross that in the world to come we may see him as he is, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, thank you for joining me. It's been good to be with you. And I hope that it won't be too long before we're all in church together. I know that the church opened up last Sunday and that went well. So that bodes well for the future. Uh, keep safe. Have a good week. Take care. God bless. Bye.